Hi Taurus, welcome to your Love Connection reading for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Taurus, we're going to take a look at a connection you believe you have with somebody at this time. You do have to know them. You don't necessarily have to be together. So whatever your situation is, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female watching. Please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. May not be for everybody. So Taurus, everything you need to know about me, personal readings, everything is down below in the description box. So please feel free to check that out. And if you do, thank you. Um... So this is a zodiac oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet. And if you don't resonate with this part, that's totally fine. So this is for Taurus, love, connection for April Spirit, please. Thank you so much. <clears throat> if you like my style and how I read, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell, all that great stuff. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. And thank you to everybody for supporting me in the channel. All right, Taurus, Taurus. Oh, let's take, no, that's two. What may Taurus be, be dealing with? Let's take that one. Let's see what we have for you, Taurus. Well, we have Pluto energy, which is Scorpio energy, I believe. Yep. So this is about life, death, uh, rebirth, sex, power, control kind of energy. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or it could just be the energy of life, death, rebirth, sex, power, and control. Hmm. Let's see what's going on for you, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. All right. So this deck here, I'm going to pull an opening love energy between you and your person. See what we get. And then I'll pull one for you, one for them, how you're feeling about each other and the connection. All right, and this could also be past, present, or future energy, so please keep that in mind also. All right. Oh, what do we have here? We have the sun energy, 31, and we have the ace of pentacles at the bottom here, which is a stable new beginning of some kind, long-term uh, abundance and growth. And here is the sun, so that's the most positive card, but I'm going to read a little bit. Uh, 31 is 4. Four is about stability and foundation. So 31 here with the sun. I just want to read a little bit. I am success. Hear me roar. I control your ego and charisma. I boost your confidence and courage. I bring victory and glory. But be careful not to get too cocky or you will be burned by arrogance like Icarus. I don't know who that is. but So this does speak of success and victory here. All right, so oh, what's going on here? All right. All right, so let's get one for you, Taurus. I'm going to put you, Taurus, on this side, your person on that side. And if at any time you feel like the energies need to be switched, reversed, flipped, please feel free to do that. Wow. All right, so I didn't really ask yet. So what do we have for Taurus spirit, please, in this love connection? How is Taurus feeling? about their person in this connection at this time, whoever they're thinking about for this reading. Spirit, please, for Taurus, thank you. Well, we have the Tree of Life here, five, which is about change. And we have the Seven of Cups at the bottom here, which can talk about choices, decisions, options, uh, confusion, daydreamy kind of energy. So let's see, and that's how you're feeling about this person, or. It, like I said, switch at any time if you feel you need to. All right. How does your person feel about you and the connection, Taurus? Well, we have the house, the home here, which is four, which is stability. And we have the king of cups. So somebody has a lot of love here. <coughs> it does remind me of the four of wands energy. Very stable home life. This person may want to commit to you, want to move in with you um, kind of energy. But let's read here first. We got four and five, but they're backwards. <laughs> we have four here. Pluto was 22, which is four. Wow. So we got four, 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 five. Wow. All right. So let's see what five says for you. Tree. I am here to stay and grow. I am the health of your body, mind, and soul. Look for the cards next to me to find out more about me. When negative cards are close, pack some tissues for your nose. So I'm um, not really doing that, but I mean, this card is about um, stability in the home life. 
So even though it's a little mushroom house, looks like to me, but let's see. House, I am your family, in your base, your ground, in your home. I give you stability and comfort. I am your living arrangement and environment. I am the I am what surrounds you in your estate. The cards around me will give you signs of my present state or what the future will dictate. So we do have the tree here for um, growth, stability, long-term growth like the tree of life, the rainbow for good luck, change here. So I feel like if seven of cups energy, if you were a little confused, um, Taurus, about this person, I do feel see luck, growth, abundance, long-term stability here with the tree, a lot of growth and expansion, change. So you may have a change of heart about this person if you were a little confused and now uh, realizing you want to build and grow. Um with this person and your person I feel they want to give you um, the stable home life so they want to give you <laughs> they want to give you stability they want to give you their love they want to give you and I don't know why I'm shuffling they want to give you the stable new beginning success and victory and we have peace harmony here with the lilies king of swords energy truth and clarity three is about uh, 33 which is about Reuniting, come together, celebrating. And I believe that is the lilies. So I'm just going to read. Um, Calm, peace, and serenity is what I preach. Your parents and elders show up under my symbol. I bring wisdom and experience. I signify a long-term relationship or ancestry. Contentment and satisfaction is my angle. So, wow. So this person feels very happy and content with you. They want to give you this happy home and stable happy home, stable life for the long term. Wow. Maybe you were a little confused at one time, but I feel like you had a change of heart and now you're ready to grow long term with this person. And um, it's like a whole new life with this person. Pluto is about life, death, rebirth, sex, power, control. So I just feel like life, like, you know, now ready to settle down in this life with this person, with your love here. All right, Taurus, so let's see who we're dealing. Uh, Pluto is Scorpio, doesn't have to be. And the sun there does remind me of Leo. All right, so let's clarify these energies for you, Taurus. So what is the tree here for? Two of Pentacles, yeah, I feel like you... We're kind of juggling around the idea about this person for a while here. You weren't sure they wanted to give this to you. They could have even proposed to you. And you're like, hmm, I'm not sure. But I feel like you had a change of heart. And now you see all the happiness and joy, growth and expansion with this person. King of Cups. So now you're in the King of Cups energy. King or Queen, doesn't matter. So now you realize like how much you truly love and appreciate this person here. So we have the King of Cups here and the King of Cups there. So now you're both feeling the same way about each other. Wow. So let's see how your person is feeling. Nine of Cups. Yeah, you're there. Wish and dream come true. You're their happiness and fulfillment in every single way. And Page of Pentacles. So this is a stable communication or offer here. A communication of a stable offer. Here's the offer right here. So you, some of you could have been proposed to or just say, you know, let's move in together, leveling up um, the connection in some way, relationship. All right, so a butterfly here for transformation. All right, so Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. If I mention uh, some signs, if they're relevant for you, that's totally fine. But the King of Cup can, Cups can be Pisces. All right, so let's see the world. So closing out chapters, starting new chapters. That's Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius. And Pluto is Aquarius. Whole new world, whole new chapter. This person, my cards are flying on the floor. And now we have the hermit. So, yeah, I think you thought about it. I think you were unsure. <clears throat> you have major arcanas here on your side. So I think they offered you um, some sort of offer 
like I said, a commitment or moving in together or maybe even proposed. And with the hermit here, I think you had to take some time for you to really think about if you wanted to end the world as you knew it, the life that you lived and started a new life, a new chapter with this person. So really going within and thinking long and hard with the hermit energy. But we do have the four of pentacles energy here. I mean, this could be an energy of um, kind of holding back, but it also can be an energy of holding on to. It can be an energy of being stingy or just holding on to something or someone and not wanting to let go. So, and that is that happy, uh, stable home life. Stability in the home life, too. The Four of Pentacles energy. So what do we have here? So the Ace of Swords. So, <laughs> so that's another victorious new beginning here. Truth, clarity. They know without beyond, beyond a shadow of a doubt, they have truth, they have clarity. They express this, probably express this to you openly and freely, how much, you know, they want to be with you, they love you, they want to live with you, they want to marry you, whatever here. They know beyond a doubt they want this Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. And they see you as this Emperor or Empress here, somebody that has a lot of value and worth, can give birth, this is the birth of something new, a new life, can be a mother, a father, Emperor Empress, doesn't matter, knowing exactly what they want and how they see you as this empress. Wow. So, and I feel like they either, they want to be, they see you in that light, but they also want to be your emperor or empress or however that resonates for you. Taurus. So, let's get some advice. I do see that you thought about it for some of you and now you're accepting it. And now the Four of Pentacles, like holding on to each other, not letting go, building a firm foundation here in this little home, this little house. Brand new victorious beginning here. This is my Divine Energy card. Truth, clarity, cutting away energies, people, places, things no longer serving. Uh, standing in clarity, telling it like it is. All right, so. All right, so let's get advice for this connection. What do we have? Oh, that's too many. Advice for this connection, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Advice for this connection for Taurus. Five of Wands. So this could be competition, conflict. I feel like that was you. Had a lot of inner conflict about uh, this offer. But the Knight of Wands. So this is a go-getter kind of energy. Can be, you know, kind of like a player but not necessarily, I mean, the hermit here, I forgot to mention is Virgo. The empress here can be uh, Libra or Taurus. So I feel like, and now we have the knight of wands, um, which can be Leo, but the five of wands here can be inner conflict or competition around you or um, conflict around you, you know, within you or competition. But the Knight of Wands here is very fiery, passionate energy. So it could be a very fiery, passionate connection between the two of you. So here's success and victory here with the Six of Wands energy. Again, fiery, passionate energy. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. So healing, balance, being patient with this um, energy. Temperance angel always brings the soulmates together. So this is definitely a soulmate um, energy, especially with the sun there. So the advice here is, <laughs> even though if you're very conflicted about this offer or what defensive or whatever here, this is saying that if you can balance out your energies, be patient, you know, healing energy, that there can be a lot of success and victory in this connection. And just to go after it, the Knight of Wands energy. That fiery, passionate energy. Go get our energy. Just go after it. Go get it. Accept it. Take it. <laughs> All right. So what is the possible outcome here? Oh, that's too many. Let's take this one. Eight of Swords. So, yeah, you're going to be a little, still a little stuck in your head about this. Still not sure. But this is good news coming in with the Page of Wands energy. 
fiery passionate communication offer or good news giving or receiving good news that the full energy here that i'm ready to take the sleep of faith jump right in reset restart at zero is aquarius energy so i feel like <clears throat> you may be still up in your head a little bit with the outcome here but ultimately you will decide to take the sleep of faith you or them and rush in with the good news here that yes i accept this offer and jumping right in here wow okay so let's see what the bottom of the deck so ace of cups brand new beginning in love and emotions overflowing fulfillment in every single way in love five of cups so that is about some sort of hurt and sadness or regret it could be regret about waiting making them wait while you thought about this so moving in quickly here with the eight of wands very fiery passionate moving very quickly cupid's arrows rushing here rush 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 two cards of rushing in eight of wands and the page of swords rushing in with passion and truth moving ahead that i want this fiery passionate new beginning it's exciting ace of wands kind of energy so after taking time to think about their offer i think someone will accept the offer and now rush in for this fiery passionate new beginning and accept this offer wow all right so I already went over the signs. We're just going to pull some extra messages here for you. Taurus, this is pretty clear. Somebody was a little hesitant about an offer. Somebody really, really wants to be somebody's emperor or empress here, wants to give them, you know, stable home life, wants to give them everything. And the other one's like, yeah, I don't know. Then ultimately they realize how much they love this person. There's passion, there's love, there's truth, there's clarity, there's stability, everything. This person wants to give you everything, and I think finally you accept it, Taurus, or vice versa. All right, so Taurus, okay, like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving, and we have two there, which is unity. So again, finally accepting this uh, unity and being in that loving, caring, nurturing connection. You probably both, you both like, not only love each other, but actually do actually like each other too. So that's important also. So Taurus, let's get a few more. Or Taurus, please. Get to know each other. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. We have four, double 44 here. Again, with stability. A lot of fours here. Four, four double four so yeah this person wants to give you such a long lasting stable home life they want to give you everything and they really want to get you to know you inside and out up and down all the way around for the long term here they want to nurture you protect you take care of you to some extent i mean not you know all right so what else for taurus Spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. 46 here, which is 10, which is completions and then a new beginning, which we had a lot of that energy here. So <clears throat> I feel like you're really getting to know each other, spending a lot of time together, you know, really getting to know each other, realizing how not only do you love them each other but you actually do like each other as well could also be best friends and we have here show simple acts of kindness a simple act of kindness can energize you bring happiness to those around you five is about change so being more kind and open-hearted loving caring i mean all that energy to one another and uh spending quality time together taurus wow Okay, Taurus, <laughs> best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.